Hey, I'm back and today I wanted to show you how to make grain clouds using mgranular mb. So when I first got this plugin, it was really complicated and confusing to me how to use this and get this grain cloud, but hopefully this will make it easier for you and show you a way to do it. So here, if you're in the edit screen, I just go here and actually, actually I think I made this default, but uh, I just have the settings like this. It's fairly easy if you don't have your settings slightly differently. Um, so I have wet, dry, wet at 100%, grain size at 50, etc. Uh, I have voice one here, and the first thing I want to do is move down the gain because I don't want it to be too loud. Uh, next thing I want to do, actually, before I do that, let me let you hear what these samples sound like. The first one is just a bell. The next one is kind of like a bass drum. So let's try to take these and change them into grain clouds. So first one here, like I said, most important thing is the copies. Let's move this up to about 10. So turn down the gain. If I play this now, it's not gonna sound like anything. So let's hear it. Actually, activate it first. There we go. Now let's hear it. As I said, you can't hear anything. And the reason that is, is because the max copy delay isn't on. This tells you in what space should you divide up these copies. So if I move this to 1000 milliseconds, which is one second, it's going to divide these 10 copies over that 1000 milliseconds. So let's hear that. Probably turn that up a little bit. But you heard at that time, it's evenly spaced. But we don't want it to be completely evenly spaced, so use copy delay random. Let's set that at about 15 or so. So it's not, it doesn't have that machine gun effect, not that machine-like precision. So let's hear this. So a little bit more random. I can move that down a little bit though. There we go. Now, next thing is pan random. Because I don't want them just in the center, I want them going to the left and right kind of randomly. You can also pan them all to the left or all to the right, or move this down a little bit if you want, but let's hear this. Okay, I'm hearing some sizzling and some clicking, and I think the reason that is is because the crossfade is at 0%. If I move this to 100%, it should go away. So this is closer to what I want, but the problem now is I don't really want that attack in there. I want it to be like a, a pad almost. So what can we do for that? So you see up here uh, where the multi-band area is, right click there, click insert. So now we have two bands. This second band, band two, I'm not even gonna use this. So go back to band one, that's where we had everything. Right click it again. And as I said before, use the insert. Don't use the default bands because that's gonna erase everything you did in band one. Uh, but anyways, now back in here, go to Tonal Transient. Now let's move this down a little bit. You probably have to adjust this by ear, but I'll let you hear what it does. I'll probably do a little bit more. So now, as you heard there, what that's doing is it's getting rid of the attack, which is what we want. I can go to the pitch random here and I can adjust the pitch a little bit too, like 0.1. This should give it a little bit more of a, I don't know, uh, stereo sense. It almost sounds like chorus. I like that. If you go higher, it's going to sound like a mess, but that's cool sometimes. So I'll let you hear this. That's not really what I'm going for here, but it could be what you're trying to do sometimes. So, there we go. That's the sound, but you're probably thinking now, hey, it's not holding. I want it to hold like a chord or something. So, what we can do with that is just hit freeze. So, play it here. As long as we hit freeze, it's going to play forever. And same thing with this other one, which I haven't been playing, but let's try this.
It sounds like a motor or something. Another thing that's important is the grain size. So I waited till now to explain that, but that's actually really important. Let's go to number two here. Move this over. Actually, I should solo this. Okay. So grain two here, we have just one copy. And I'll try to freeze it so you can hear this. And let's see what happens if the grain size is really small and I freeze it. See how that sounds like your computer's broken or something? It's because it's playing the same thing over and over again, and this sample, or the grain, is only 1.5 milliseconds long. Let's try to make it a little bit longer. Let's try like 9 milliseconds. See how that sounds. That sounds a little bit better. And let's try making it like really long, like what I would typically use. Let's try, I don't know, 300 milliseconds. That's sounding pretty good, right? If you turn the crossfade off, crossfade off, you'll get uh, more of the t -t 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 -t, uh, where it's not crossfaded, and you can hear like the gaps in between there. Let me see if I can do that for you. Okay. So I guess I can't adjust it while it's actually frozen, but that just gives you an idea. I like to put that on, especially for grain stuff, but. Let's go back here to voice one we had before. And I'll let you hear this, the deep sound of the bass, and I'll freeze it. And so everything's good, but I imagine you're thinking, okay, but I kind of want to play it with an instrument. So let's say I want to use my keyboard, and when I push a note on my keyboard, it's going to sustain the sound and freeze. I can actually do that. If I go here, clear and learn, hit freeze, that, record, turn it off. So I have this here. It's whenever I move this to 100%, it's going to turn on and off like that. But now, actually, let me label this freeze. I'll go into attach MIDI controller, turn this off because I don't need a controller, but I do need notes. Now, turn this mode to on and off. It's on and on and off. Make sure it's checked here so I don't make a mistake. Click learn. Actually. And I could set it to whatever note I want. I'll use C here, C3. Click OK. And now, if you look at freeze, it turns on whenever I'm pushing the note C. So let's play this again. And I'll try to hold this bell until we get close to here. And then when it plays the bass drum sound, I'll hold that. So here we go. So, there you go. I think that qualifies as grain clouds, and I can even do more things with that. Like, I pitch random here at 10%, but let's say if we go into the pitch here, and instead of any pitch, I use random limited. That means any of these pitches that are white here will play uh, randomly, depending on how I move the pitch random. So, let's play that and listen to it. Okay, so I think that's anything I would want from a grain cloud. Um, there's, of course, more things you can do with the pitch and also the transformation if you want the grains to go backwards or something. But I think that kind of gives you an idea of how it works. Uh, if you have any questions about this, leave them below. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, see you.